they should be honored and they should be revered for the work that they've done over the years, not just as officers, not just as people in the community, but as husbands, uncles, fathers, family men, they've done a lot for their families and for people in this community. So it's actually kind of bittersweet for me personally because one of the first people I met when I graduated from the academy, Solid came up to us in the locker room and said, hey man, it gets better. Don't worry about it. It's free money. This is free money. With that big, same big smile on his face and he was right. You know, he was always encouraging to us and letting us know that it gets better. And 22 and a half years later, we're standing up here together, still here. We still look the exact same. <laughs> same weight, same everything. We still got all that stuff is the same. We have not gained one pound in 22 yeah. and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. Since today. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I gained two. Yeah, he gained two. I gained two. But on behalf of the city of Las Vegas, the first thing we want to do is give a certificate of recognition presented to Armando J. Solomon, P number 6376. The mayor and the Las Vegas City Council recognize Armando J. Solomon for their 22 years and 11 months of service with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. Your commitment and dedication to our community is greatly cherished. Thank you for protecting the residents of our great city. And is signed by Carolyn Goodman and the entire staff over at the, all the city councilmen and women at the City Hall. They wanted to make sure they are not Gibson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Number 6680. The mayor and the Las Vegas City Council recognize Romaine M. Gibson for their 22 years and four months of service with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. Your commitment and dedication to our community is greatly cherished. Thank you for protecting the residents of our great city. Watches. So we purchased the citizen watches with the thin blue line in it, and it's been crafted everything with the gold plate and it's got your P number on it and Aww. we we like shadow boxes we wanted to ensure on behalf of the police protective association uh -huh. we took care of our guys and we gave them something that they can you know something for their family something that they can hang on the wall or something they can look back and remember their time on this department um, it reads, in appreciation for your loyalty and commitment to the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, Armando J. Solid, P number 6376. It's got the good. So, uh, Armando Solid, first of all, let me introduce myself. I think everybody might know who I am, but I'm uh, Marco Alvarado. I'm an officer with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. I'm also the president for the National Latino Peace Officers Association. With that being said, uh, I've known both of these guys for many years, and it's been a pleasure and an honor to work alongside both of them. All right. And uh, I'm not going to take too much of anybody's time, but uh, or I'm not going to repeat everything that uh, that was said already because it was all true, and these are both uh, two great individuals. But Romain is going to help me uh, present this to uh, Armando. Romaine is our state president for the National Latino Peace Officers Association. So, so he oversees, not only does he oversee myself and my chapter, but he oversees the Southern Nevada chapter also, make sure that we're abiding by everything that we're supposed to be doing, all our bylaws, every, all our rules and regulations, everything that we're supposed to be doing, for not only for our officers, but our community. And uh, when anything goes wrong or things are getting twisted, he calls me up make sure that everything is right. So, uh, sure, going you're right. 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 Yeah. 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 So with that, Armando, we'd like to go ahead and present this to you. It's a plaque. The NLPOA would like to congratulate you on your retirement and thank you for your 23 years, four months, and 22 days of dedicated service to law enforcement in your community. It's signed by myself and your state president, Romanius. <laughs> So the good thing about being part of this family right here is that we're all different, of uh, different departments, uh, same department, but different. Uh, uh, I guess I want to say different uh, 
professions if you want to say that basically, but they're all the same. Uh, Can we give a shout out to how big he fucking is and how he fits in the vehicle within the apartment? I'm just saying. I don't think that's all right. But uh, one of the things about him is that this is one big family right here, and uh, I appreciate Solid so much is that not only as a um, a partner in this in this uh, police department, but as a brother. And as a brother, I know he's good because uh, during my time at UNLV, when I left, my brothers called me at two o'clock in the morning when they needed my help, and I was always there for him. And I think he called me about two o'clock in the morning for my help. And I was there for him too, without a doubt whatsoever. Okay, and so that's how we're supposed to be for each other out here. But anyway, I know you don't drink, but I was told that I was, I was, I know you don't drink. That's what I was told. But anyway. No, wait, wait, wait. So, the back story. We were trying to figure out a bottle to bring him, and I called his, I text his wife, and I said, what does he drink? She says, you know, he don't drink that much. I said, damn. It's a new salad. So we had to figure out what you used to drink to figure out uh, what to get you. All right. That's the back story. Well, this right here is for you, my brother. This is one of the rarest that you're gonna find. Um, one of the regrets that you're going to find, but it's a very good one right there, brother. Hope that you take the time with that and enjoy it. Uh, this is actually from Shabika. Oh, this, is, this, is, this is the rarest uh, scotch. And I apologize, the rarest scotch right there. Hope you take the time out, brother. They were the hardest people to do anything for because I have asked them for months what they were doing. They each told me they wasn't doing shit. Which I don't believe that. We're having a party. So I know, and I wasn't invited until now. And that's why I saved my gift for him until that day. And my gifts today will be for Solid. He will be his later. But no, I got one thing from you from the squad. So hold it. Hello, I'm Camberback. Come on. Come on up here, ma'am. So, on behalf of your Tucker family, the small family that we are, the dysfunctional family that we are, we wanted to present you with this class. Um, but Corey was the head of this brigade, if you look on the back. You have the signatures of everybody who contributed. Aww. And so we wanted to say happy retirement to you, buddy. Thank you. What I want to say is the worst thing you can do as a supervisor is have your friends come work for you. <laughs> and so when I got promoted in 2010, that was the only thing that I was scared of because I was told that the sign of a good leader is that people will follow you. And so I went out to Laughlin and my friends followed me to Laughlin. And although I appreciated it, it scared the shit out of me because I had never worked with them, we just partied together. And I am not the most easiest person to work for. Wow. <laughs> and tested for the position to the moment he left. He did not miss a motherfucking day, and he could have. No. And he filled up a lot of the slots that would have been vacant had he not did that. And so I would like to tell you that I so appreciate your friendship. I appreciate the fact that you came and worked for me and worked for me, <laughs> and I will never forget it. And because of you, I might let others join. <laughs>
did was somebody had bought me a foot massager, and it was the best thing. It was the best, one of the best gifts I had ever gotten in my life. Well, I bought you one. <laughs> Thank you. Not only did I buy you one, I bought you the the the, the hand massager to go with. You got the whole package, brother. You got the whole nine. Oh shit, my boss is here. No, he didn't. He was, in, he was in some regular shoes. He was all good. It was all good. So, um, I would also like to thank his wife. <laughs> because. A lot of times when we have family people who come out to law firm, life hits us, right? And sometimes the family prevents them from, or hinders them from doing the job. And I would say that if you did that, I never knew about it. <laughs> and so I would like to also thank you and appreciate you. For coming out, um, it really means a lot, a lot to be able to show it up. Um, everyone in here has made an impact on my life and my career at some point. Especially the older guys that left earlier, those that early 2000 crew, my uh, Ice House crew. But the one great thing about retirement for me is that I'm just really, really amazed that I can retire. Because we're not going to retire alone. <laughs> so thank you all for coming out. It really means a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, y'all. Let's finish this up and get to the bar. Thank you, Shamika. Whatever. You let me keep my job when you know I was out there in the streets.